don't think the Braxton family oh, value girl, is going to last. Has I don't. Gone? I didn't even see this in there. Has she gone? You ain't missing much. I don't think the, the Braxton family value is going to last. They might well bring us back on over They there. may as well. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you, now, I'm a person who watched all seasons of the Braxton family value, and I watched the spinoff of Tamar and Vince. Uh-huh. If you watch this season, it feels to me as if they don't really want to have real honest conversation with each other because they don't want it to become as contentious as it was when they had their first run through. And I'm going to tell you something, because, you know, we did business with WeTV. I can look at it and tell that it's so staged and set up. Mm -hmm. The first episode, they're all together. Tamar is there. The sisters are there. The mama is there because they were talking about grieving and grief and about uh, Tracy. When I tell you, they have not been in the same room with Tamar since that first episode. There are four episodes. They were only in the room with her on that first episode. And I'm just going to tell you like this. It feels to me that Tawanda don't like Tamar. It feels to me like she don't even want to be in the room with her. The, ep the most recent episode, Tamar said she did the podcast with We Sound Crazy, which is a music podcast on YouTube. She said... She has it now in her contract, or it's agreed upon, that there has to be a therapist on the scene, on the set, when she's filming with certain cast members. Oh, wow. And you got to have a therapist on the scene to film with your family? Bitch, take that off the air. <laughs> and the thing is, it's almost like, where my people who watch Girlfriends? My girlfriend. Remember when they took took Jill Marie Jones off, the one that played Tony? Mm -hmm. And when that first season came back, when Tony was no longer there, and all they talked about was Tony and where yeah. Tony was. Tony wasn't even on it. That's what this first season is. All they talk about is Tracy. Now I do understand that they got to talk about that because that was that was she was a part of their family, and it's a it's a great way to bring attention to esophageal <laughs> cancer. But that's all they're talking she had about. Throat cancer? Yes. And she wasn't really a star on the show when, when they did the first run. Remember, they got upset with her. They got upset with her when they were trying to get more money from WeTV. And Tracy went on and filmed anyway. They all were upset with her because they were supposed to be boycotting. But it's like she wasn't even the star when they did the first pass of the show. But that's all they're talking about now. Because to me, the magic is gone from that show. What's the one that sounds like she's from fucking Canada or from uh, up here in, in Boston somewhere? The one that had bar chicks. Trina, why does she talk like that? She is from Maryland. It's like she got this New England accent. She's like, because uh, we all, like, you're like, girl, what are you, girl, are you British? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I don't understand that. But it's like, she's not interesting. Her husband is boring as hell, Vaughn. He's boring. Tawanda is holding back. She's not really saying the things that she wants to say. Because in this last episode, little Kevin, Tracy's son, it comes out in the storyline that Tracy left everything to him. Now, mind you, Tracy was married for decades. But she left everything to the son. And the husband is upset. And the husband and the son, the husband and the son don't even speak because of this. When I tell you, uh, Tawanda said, don't make me say, because I, I mean, this is going to really get real in here if I have to say what's really going on. And that's exactly what it feels like that they're all holding back. It feels like they're not saying what needs to be said. So take the shit off the air. Just take it off the air. Because at this point, Tamar is only filming with her, her assistant or her mother. She's filming with everybody except all of the sisters. Everybody else is filming together. Uh, uh, Tawanda, Trina, Tony, the mama. But then Tamar is over here with her friends and whatever she got going on. Like, what? what why, why are we here, Ike? Why are we here? Why is she here? So, Craig, what do you propose? They Take do? it off the air.
but it's keeping you there. <laughs> well, I'm trying to give them some ratings. But they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna have ratings because this no, no, no. It's just not interesting anymore. It's lost its luster. It's lost its luster. How do you think they can get it back? Be honest. <laughs> so what what is the honesty that's missing? They really need to address the elephant in the room. Which they, is? They need to bring uh, Iyala back, and they need to say, Tawanda, admit it. You don't like Tamar. Y'all, you feel like she is the cancer in the family. And, you, and see, here's what I think happened. And I like Tamar. And here's what I think happened, though. I think what happened was Tamar became the breakout star in the original run of the show. Because Tamar was married to Vince at the time, they knew how to use that show to launch her first record. The same way that when Candy Burris went on to the Housewives of Atlanta that second season, she's the only one over there that knew how to use television to leverage herself. She knew how to do that. Vince knew how to do that with Tamar. When they first went over there, not only did they leveraged that album because they showed her in the studio. All of them other children, Tawanda, Trina, they didn't, and, and, and even Tracy, God rest her soul, none of them knew what to do with that platform. You said it best when we were doing the T.S. Madison experience. This is an extended commercial. That's it. This is how we promote everything that we got going on right now. Mm -hmm. Bitch, I talked about them books yeah. that I wrote. Yes. And that's what they did with Tamar. They did that album. They showed her in rehearsals. They showed her dropping singles. They showed her in the studio. And then they even got a spinoff show, Tamar and Vince. The mother children, they didn't know what to do. Even Tony Braxton, the legendary Tony Braxton herself, didn't know what to do with reality TV. They, could, they, they didn't brand anything else. And I think they resented Tamar because she became the breakout star and then she became successful. And if I'm being completely honest, and I love Tamar, being completely honest, I think the success and the excitement of the success did kind of go to her head and it kind of made her a monster in her family. She's already the baby of the family. She's already the baby. And so it made that that spoiled stuff kind of came out even more. And then when she became the star, became famous, it was like she she kind of made all of them the butt of her jokes. They we TV made her the star of the show. Then she got that spinoff show. And I just think it fractured their relationship. And I think it's gotten to the point where Tawanda just doesn't like to be in the room with her. You can look at Tawanda's body language when Tamar is there. She won't even look at her. They had that first, Go look at that first episode. They, they're doing a grief counseling session and Tamar and Tawanda are sitting, sitting side by side. And Tawanda is talking like this, looking down at the ground. She looks at her every now and then. She don't even really look at her. You know, when I was in Vegas a few months ago, I was gonna go to her residency. But it's not really a residency. What is it? It's kind of like an extended stay. She's not there every day. Oh. <laughs> Get them out! Get them out! It's more like an extended stay. Oh Get them out of here! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought you were about to say a concert. I didn't say an extended stay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Get them out. Oh, God. But yeah, they just need to go ahead and take them girls off the air. No, I want to listen. I don't want no black TV to come off air. I don't. Are you watching it? <laughs> Have you watched a single episode? <laughs> and I dare you lie. Now you over here tweeting and carrying on about the deliverance, but you ain't watched the Braxton's? <laughs> well, I have business with Lee there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The business I had with WeTV, I posted about it. Right. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing about the Braxton's. I thought you and Tamar were girlfriends. That is my girlfriend. That is my girlfriend. <laughs> but I did see her reading the network down to the floor and also gave me advice on the network. Right. But then we're, we're back over there. So I'm just <laughs> like, <laughs> well, you know, she said that they're back over there because it was one of Tracy's dying wishes uh, that they all come back together. And, you know, so I get that. I understand that. But that show is terrible. <laughs> 